So we call the experiment SABLE, which stands for Self-Assembly and Biology and the Origin of Life. Um, we're making a small uh, little chemistry lab in a module that's four inches by four inches by six inches. And within that, we have uh, nine vials that we grow long, thin protein fibers in. And they self-assemble uh, in a, a vial, essentially. And we do that in the laboratory. We've been doing it for a number of years. Uh, they go through a series of phases where they, they start with small nucleation units that grow long fibers. The fibers then begin to settle in the solution. They, they sort of uh, lock over each other and, and get into more complex forms. Um, we are going to do it in weightlessness, and we assume that they will form uh, more complex forms so they won't settle on solution. Uh, we're building this at Florida Tech. Uh, we have a team of uh, myself and two other um, faculty members, and we have uh, graduate students that are doing all the work, and I have a couple of them here with me now. Uh, we have uh, Dylan Bell, <coughs> who's a graduate student in the College of Science, who's working on the science for the project and Jose Abandano, who is uh, in the College of Engineering and is working on the engineering of the, the device itself. And maybe they'll tell you a little bit about what they're doing. Uh, like you said, my name is Dylan Bell, and uh, I am basically working on the science of it, um, creating the protein powder, or not creating it, but putting the protein powder in the specific locations inside the, the the tubes and, the, and also creating the buffer solution that will be the protein powder will actually be actuated into once the experiment itself has actually been done and can, when it, once it comes back down to earth I will be putting these solutions and these fibers and whatever else has been activated we're not really sure um, but we're going to the way to study it is basically put it on mica slides and put it into an atomic force microscope and I will be studying that for a, a long time, basically, and imaging what actually was created inside the experiment and trying to understand the, the physics behind it and the biology aspects of it as well. And before we can do that, we have to get it built, and Jose is, is really working on uh, building it. Well, I'm Jose, and I'm part of the Mechatronics and Controls Laboratory at FIT. Uh, we're basically in charge of building the thing. So um, we believe it's quite an engineering accomplishment because you know it's a very very small form factor, and we're able to develop uh, nine artificial environments on it, and we're able to you know keep them at a constant temperature and then actuate them independently. Yeah. So as you can see, we're really excited about this, and it was an amazing opportunity that we got from Space Florida and Nanorex. Uh, when they announced that, we looked at that and said, this is right down our alley, we can do this. Good thing, because we, at one time we had about 15 undergraduate students involved in it as well. They helped us write the proposal and everything. So we're, we're really excited about it. We're, we're waiting for our turn to fly on SpaceX.